What is up fam? Welcome back to the garage. Today we are doing an upgrade on the Harley Davidson. She is right here. I'm working with the door closed because it is 30 degrees out there and I got heat coming from the house and it makes it kind of tolerable out here. But we're going to be doing a couple things to kind of combat the wind on this thing. For one, the, the windshield is too short. Uh, the last guy was a lot shorter than me. This is like a 6 inch or 8 inch. I have a much taller one coming uh, it wasn't here I figured it'd be here today but we did get some wind deflectors that go right here where these three screws are on both sides they kind of come down like this maybe that'll kind of cut down on some of the wind that's pelting me in the face all the time I'll show you what's in the box and we're gonna put on all right I know we're not doing any fancy unboxing on the workbench but I got stuff all over it and I'm not doing taking it off right now so we're just gonna bust it open here on the bike it's not really much of a unboxing. It's just a, two little panels and some screws. Put that away before I slice my fingers open. So yeah, in the, in the box here, just empty box. Yeah, that's all it is. Got some foam here. We'll cut that off real quick. What we got here? There's one. This is a pretty good size. Wow. I got the black. They do sell a chrome version, so pretty good size huh and you got screws here a lot of times my bike already had the screws in it so I'm gonna use those I'm gonna save those for something else if I need them well they are a little bit transparent you can, I don't know if you can see my hand through that but they are a little transparent that's nice nice and shiny I like that so yeah we'll we'll bust the other one open and we'll take you down here to the bike where you can see and put them on when I first bought the bike I took these out thinking this was what held the fairing together, which it's not. So if you'll have one of these bikes and it doesn't have this, I mean it has these screws, this is not what holds the fairing together. <laughs> you can see where there already was one on here. You can see the impression left by it. It doesn't tell you right or left handed. So you just kinda gotta guess. Don't tighten all of them up till you get them all started. Like that. And you can remove these super easy. That way when you get summertime, if you don't want to have all the fairings on there and the wind deflectors, take them off. It's winter time now and it's like 30, 40 degrees. Some days when it's 50 or close to 50, we like to ride. That is one wind deflector installed. Show you a little bit, put a light on it and show you a little better here. That's what it's going to look like. All screwed on. It is transparent. You can see this through the, the light through it. So I imagine if you wanted to paint these, you could before you put them on your bike. But so now I'm going to go on the other side and put the other one on. I'm not going to film that because it's exactly the same. All right. And like literally two minutes later, we're done. This took maybe five minutes. So we're going to show you what it looks like from the front. Here it is from the front. You can see the, the little window deflector here and the other one over here. That should cut down on a lot of the wind. I already added these lower fairings. You guys, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. Uh, also, where to get these at as well. And I guess, like I said, I got the front the front windshield coming and I wanna get the trim piece. It goes right there, it's chrome piece. I wanna get that for that. So yeah, that should add to a lot of deflection. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this video both of these upgrades one video i haven't got the windshield yet but it's coming so it should be a couple days um then i'm going to put all this in one video so it'll be the wind deflectors and the windshield so we'll jump to probably the next couple days and we have the windshield and we'll do the unboxing on it and the installation so we'll see you then and what is up guys welcome back to the second part of this video we're going to be finishing that second little upgrade to the bike which is the new windshield I already took the other one off, which is right here. It's easy, just three bolts. You don't really even have to take them all the way out. You just loosen the bolts and the whole windshield will pull out. I took the bolts all the way out because I have to make a little modification to the new windshield. On the new one, which as you can see is like a light smoke instead of that super dark smoke color. The bolt in the center lines up perfectly. But this one and that one are a little bit off. 
was my mistake. I ordered for a 2014 and up, which this needs to be like a 2013 and down. I think it's like 96 to 2013. I ordered the wrong one by mistake, but we're gonna make this work because I'm not sending it back. Just have to scoot the hole over just a little bit. So we're gonna do that right now. So I need to elongate that to over here. So I'm just gonna try to bring this kind of over in this area. Yeah, it fits perfectly. It worked out pretty good actually. Let me work at it here a minute and I'll be right back. So we got the holes elongated. Sorry the camera don't want to focus on this too good. Got them elongated there. And on this side, as you can see, we just kind of scooted the hole over just a little bit. Uh, nobody will ever be, be able to see that when it's all installed on the bike. So we're going to go back over here to the motorcycle and put it on. Alright. So we'll let you guys chill right there. Now we got to put a couple bolts in to hold it in. I've got new bolts coming because these are two different kinds of screw. I had to work with what I had, so these these are like original little star torques things, and then it's a Phillips. But I got a piece of chrome coming for this part that has new screws. Started a few threads, it's like one or two, and then pull it down into there. Give it a, a snug down. Same for this side. Put one screw in. Start a few threads. You never want to start these with a drill. You'll have a bad day. All right, get that snug down. Just like that. And you want to give it a couple tugs. Make sure it's in there. All right, just take some Windex or some glass cleaner. Get all your fingerprints off. There you go nice and clean it does have some sort of film on there residue from when it was wrapped in plastic i'll take some cleaner later to that see if we can't get that off but that's that's it on the bike if anybody wants to see what that looks like all right this is what it looks like from the front of the bike it's nice like i said this is for a 2014 and up and this is the touring model so it does have little things that go over to the side the one for this bike it kind of wraps around over here a little better but we're gonna make it work all right well, we're gonna take it on the road i'm gonna strap the gopro on and give you a wind test all right guys welcome back we're going to test out the new windshield so this is the video sorry if i'm breathing on the microphone i still have yet to move it in my helmet here it's right in front of my mouth so yeah we got to crank it up we can go around the around the block as I say, but it's really out on the highway and then down another highway and then back home. So we'll see if this if the buffeting is any better. I should this should kick it up and over. I had to bring my handlebars back because the other one was actually touching these handlebars. Which made my well I'm out still Fits pretty good. Gotta be careful they put sand in our roads back when it snowed about a month ago. If you hit one of those, it's like ice. You just slide right around. Nope, I don't think it's gonna work. I will say that it's really flimsy. I will say that it's really flimsy. All right, so now we can get out here. We can get up to highway speed. See what it's got.
this is the cruising speed for me. It's a little better. The wind is still coming up over and hit me right in the forehead. Set the cruise. I mean, the buffeting is not as bad, but it's still kind of bad. I don't know if you guys can hear that through the helmet or not, or through the microphone. If I dip down, it, it kind of goes away, but I'm not going to ride like that all the time. the radio next after we turn around here at the gas station and go back. Alright, let's see. Okay, there's neutral. Kind of give you guys a little walk around here. I don't look bad with that windshield, but that's definitely not the right one. So, we're definitely going to have to change that. For right now, it'll... Oh, I thought it was tipping over. And you can see where I nicked it a little bit and this thing is bulging out right here because it's not the way it's supposed to be so we'll cruise it for right now we'll have to get a different one though all right all right let's go back the other way Buffeting is better for sure, but the uh, still can't hear the music too good. Like I said, we're gonna roll this windshield for a little bit until I can get the money to get another one. I've already picked out the other one. Sorry if I'm yelling. I've already picked out the other one uh, that we're gonna get. It's for this year model. It says it fits. Uh, it's like 11 or 12 inches. So I don't care how tall the windshield is. I just wanted to hold back the wind. So because right now I'm looking over top of this one and I'm like so over top of it, like up here. So and we're gonna be riding this thing to Florida here in a few months. And I want it comfortable. These little things are working good though. We'll run back and give our final thoughts on this video. And we'll close it out. Alright guys, welcome back to this last part of this little video we got going on here. This the next day after we put the windshield on, um, our chrome piece for the for the windshield came in, as you can see there. We're gonna open that up real quick and throw it on. That way we can finish this video. So, enjoy. I will say that the packaging for this is a hundred times better than the packaging for the windshield. The windshield was just wrapped in plastic and bubble wrap and then just thrown into the to the mail system. I actually put this in a box and it's padded and wrapped in plastic, so we're gonna slice this sucker open and see what we got. Pretty thick piece of metal, so that's good. Oh wow. Dang. Look at that. That is like a dang samurai sword. <laughs> that is so awesome. Well, it's got little indents for the screws to be recessed. So that's the back side, and this will be the front side. That is slick. All right. I'm going to take you all over to the bike, and we're going to throw this thing on. We're going to take our old screws out. We don't need these anymore, because we got all matching screws now. 
So this is going to have to be bent just a little bit to conform to your windshield. It comes in flat. You will have to kind of bend it to form to the to the front of the bike, which I'm going to start with the middle screw first. Put that one in. There we go. Just like that. I'm going to take another screw and start one on this side. Okay, see it kind of it kind of wraps around with the bend of the fairing. We're going to start slide this one up just a little bit more. I'm going to come over here and do this last one. And all right, guys, there it is. Wipe this off on your fingerprints. That is with the new chrome trim piece there. It all kind of pulls itself together. I like it. We got the the fairings on the bottom side, the new windshield, and the chrome piece. So that is looking really good. That chrome is super shiny. Looks really good. I like that. I do. All right, guys, I'm super excited to have this done. This is one of our mini upgrades we have planned. Uh, it definitely makes the bike look a lot better. Uh, it is more functional for the wintertime riding, which I ride all year long anyway, so. Uh, like I said, in the summertime, we can probably take these lowers off on the bottom side of the fairing for when it's 100 degrees outside, but. All right, guys, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Sorry it was two or three spliced together, but not everything ships at the same time. If you guys would get down there, hit that like and subscribe for us. It helps us out. And if you have any questions or comments, like always, leave them down below. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.